This video starts in Saint-Denis in the middle of the night. I was just enjoying some live music. And I didn't really know what to do with myself. Should I go rob somebody? Should I start a fight? Should I kill everybody or what? And lately I've been trying to uh, do this wagon trick into New Austin. And I've been trying it with the buggies that you get in Saint-Denis, but I looked across over there and saw this covered wagon. And my first admission is that I don't know how to do this wagon trick. I've never done it before. And the few times I've tried it with the buggy did not work out. But I'm keen to do it. And I saw this wagon and I thought, well, I'm, I'm just going to take this wagon. I know you can get the wagon in Strawberry, but I'm in Saint-Denis. And I saw the wagon and I'm just taking it now on the spur of the moment. And as you may or may not know, there are four plants or herbs that you have to get in New Austin in order to get the uh, herbalist challenges completed. And if you want to do it as Arthur, you have to figure out a way to get into New Austin because uh, once you're in New Austin, there's a sniper that kills you immediately with one shot. And I know that much. And the thing is, mistakes can happen. So this is not just a straightforward process of just you do this and it's going to work out. So this is me. This is my learning process here. And I'm going to do a series of these videos because uh, there's four the the plants and herbs, and I anticipate four trips for you know at least four trips. And I don't know how to do it. And if you don't know how to do it, maybe we can learn together how to do this. And uh, you can learn from some of my mistakes, and maybe take advantage of when I do actually have a success. So I just drove this wagon across the map. If you get it in Strawberry, you don't have to drive it quite so far. I don't mind driving. And I'm just crossing the Dakota River here. One thing I've noticed so far is that that buggy is a lot more maneuverable than this big wagon. It's just one of those apple seed wagons you see everywhere. Yep. And I'm going towards uh, Fort Riggs. Just passing Riggs Station now. And the idea, like you can see right there how that canopy hides Arthur. And the idea is that as long as you can keep Arthur hidden behind the canopy in the camera view, the sniper can't shoot him, right? So you have to change some of your camera angles. But I also thought it would be a good idea to practice getting the herbs before I got over to New Austin. I don't think it's a good idea to go to New Austin and try to figure it out there because, you know, you just cut, having a lot of work cut out for you there. So I'm just going to ease up on this uh, Yarrow right here. And now I'm going to change my camera settings. I don't know about these. I know that one's got to go off. I don't know about the rest of these. I think this bottom one has to go off. But I'm just going to switch them all off. I figure I can't go wrong that way. So... I know for sure the one, and I think the bottom one, but I just switched them all off. And now I'm going to go into the Orbit Free Cam in photo mode to check where I am in relation to this plant. Now that looks good to me. So uh, let's try that. Alright, all right, so far so good. Ah, uh, no. Be dead right now. I don't know if that would have counted over in New Austin as picking the weed or not, but for sure would be dead. So that's not what you that's not what I'm looking for. I want to be able to get back on the wagon. Alright. Trying to do this again. Back into photo mode. All 
Hmm. Okay, not lined up good enough. Just need to ease forward a little bit. Now, I'm a complete novice, a rookie at this. I don't know. That looks good to me, though. I think I should be able to get off this wagon and pick that without moving away from the wagon. So let's see what happens. Okay, I'm having to move the camera around a little bit. Yeah, so far so good. All right, you just have to work with it a little bit. No. Oh, he picked the wrong one. All right, well, he'd be dead. Let's try that again now that the far one's gone. Let's try that again with the close one. All right, that's good. All right, so that's what's supposed to happen. Obviously, you don't expose him at the end like this, like I'm doing now. Uh, but that last one was what was supposed to happen. So I think I can I can roll with that once I get to New Austin. So now we're just going to go behind Fort Riggs and cross the river. All right. I completely missed the turn right there. I think I'm just excited. I'm overly excited. Let's go ahead and put a waypoint down. I'm going to go down to Thieves Landing through Quaker's Cove. On my attempts with the buggy, I tried different ways, and it seemed like the one time I had the most success with the buggy, I went through Quaker's Cove to Thieves Landing, so I'm, I'm just going to try that again. These horses are not the most maneuverable. That's another advantage that the buggy has. The buggy is really highly maneuverable. It's just one horse in a very short um, buggy, so it, it turns on a dime. Well, not on a dime, but it turns very sharp as opposed to this. Again, I think it's just my excitement that made me do that. Oh, what am I doing? All right, I did that again. Another thing I didn't show on camera right here was uh, you should set up your food and your tonics and everything so that they're ready because you're going to get jumped by the the lawmen over here and you need to be ready to administer tonics I've already eaten um, now the map shows you to go left here don't go this way go through Beecher's Hope but yeah I've, I've already eaten a, a minty big game and my core is gold so I'm good to go through here and you just have to be careful pick your way through but you want to go through quickly because they're about to light you up just be ready to spam those tonics if need be. One time when I went through with the wagon, I had to take like uh, five tonics. I mean, they were really, really on my ass, you know. This was pretty easy this time. And then just make your way down the road. Um, it's like I said, I don't know how to do this. I don't know which is the, the best way to come. So I'm, I'm just on my way down to Quaker's Cove. Now at this point, you don't have to worry about the camera angle because the sniper doesn't start shooting at you until you cross over into New Austin. So, I'm okay, but I'm starting to think about the camera angle now because I want to get into that mode of um, hiding Arthur. And you get used to it kind of quickly, you know, but you, you can't get complacent because if you stop paying attention, you'll expose Arthur and he'll, he'll get killed before you ever get where you're going. Now this is tricky, you know, you probably want to slow down for some of these turns and not try to barrel through there. And now the sniper started. And down through this area there's trees and stuff that make it sort of tricky to keep an eye on Arthur. 
there's some little turns you have to turn and keep the camera angle right to this bridge up ahead is very narrow so it kind of you know I slowed right down to come through here and there's some hostiles up ahead on the left they don't want you here either and there's a gate you have to negotiate to get out more trees that block the view and a, a slight turn so tricky it's nerve-wracking actually but just slow down a little bit that's what I did Okay, my wild fever few, I know from past experience, is going to be over here. So I just need to get over there. I'm going to try to use the railroad. Um, the last time I tried it, I, I got killed by a bunch of lawmen on the road. And I realized, well, if I tried to use this railroad here, maybe I could avoid that. So that's what I'm going to do this time. Now it's tricky, you don't want to run off this bridge or anything, but if, as long as you take your time, it's not so bad. And what I'm already liking about this railroad is that it removes some of the variables. It, you know, there's, it's easier to keep it lined up with the camera angle and everything, and there are no lawmen, that's what's important. Right. And it's like I said, I'm going to do, I envision four of these videos. I don't know if it'll be four or not, but I envision doing some more of these for all four of these herbs. So this is a learning process for me. This is what this video is about, uh, me figuring this out. And it's like I said, maybe if you've been interested in this trick, you can learn from watching me do it or, you know, I don't know, maybe share some of your knowledge in the comments or whatever. Alright, the map's telling me to go left. Oh, okay, that fever fuse should be just over here. I don't know New Austin nearly as well as I know Arthur's part of the map. Oh, there it is right there. There's dark, dark blobs to the left. Okay. Right, so I just need to get lined up on that. I'm going to take my time. I don't need to screw it up now. I've got all day. I've got good sunlight. Be stupid to get in a hurry now and miss out. Ideally, I can get this plant and go on to the next location and try to get the next one, but I'm going to count it as a victory if I can just get this plant. And that sniper never stops. All right, end of photo mode. Okay, I'm I'm not lined up right. I need to ease forward a little bit. Um I don't know. The distance looks okay, but I think I need to ease forward a little bit more. Okay, I'm just going to try it. Here we go, here we go. It's tricky, you have to work with the camera while you're doing it. Oh, I got it. Alright, so I got that. And I just need to get back on the wagon. I can't, why is he not good? Oh, I decided to pick the, um... Okay, that was an error, because he, yeah. I should have kept trying to maneuver it and get back on the wagon, but I got the fever few. That's what's important. I got it. Okay, well, I hope that was useful and entertaining. Um, it was certainly enlightening for me because I've never done this trick, it's like I said. And 
I'm going to do a few more of these, and I hope you will join me in those, uh, watching those, because it, this is an interesting little trick to do. Um, after you've come so far with the game, it's interesting to do something new that you haven't done before in the game. That's that's what's really interesting to me. I've yeah. never done this, so let's check my satchel now to make sure I got this fever fuel. Yeah, there it is. All right, so there it is. And like I said, I hope this was useful. Yeah. I hope it was entertaining, and I hope you join me for the other videos that will be coming in the future for these other three herbs I need to get. So, until the next time.